Hello, Dr. Pi. You're going to show us uh, some progress on your CNC machine. Uh, been dragging on a bit now, hasn't it? What have you been up to? I don't think you're really putting much effort into it, are you? Come on, let's let's get on with it. Well, funny you should say that because um, today I'm looking at power supplies to run all my motors. Um, you can read there that I've been uh, selecting them for voltage and current and so on. Anyway, let's review what we've done so far. Built the uh, sort of the, the chassis or the frame, so to speak. I'm waiting for the aluminium plate that I'm going to attach the actual the bed to. Uh, that's on its way from China, I believe. And um, here we can see the latest piece of work that I've done, where I've got an enclosure and put the pie and the stepper drivers in um, and now we're just looking at uh, the z-axis which um, is ready to go all the three motors are ready to go it's pretty much assembled now other than the bed um, so the next thing is to merge all of the code that I've tested so far. If you've watched the other videos you'll see that I've tested the z-axis. I actually tested that with an Arduino and with Pi Zero. I used the Pi Zero for that but it's the same as the Pi 2 Plus that I'm using on this. Just um, yeah, little, little a bit of um, artistic video here for you and then coming up we'll be looking at the code or the, uh, the start of the code which will control the three motors with the Pi. Pi in the middle there with the Adafruit hat for uh, controlling the NEMA 17 stepper motors. So those three, the Pi and the two drivers, the two L298s will go in that nice IP65 junction box. It's all starting to uh, come together now. It's all going to be neat and tidy in the uh, grey box. So, yeah, brilliant. What's not to like? That's going to come off the back because uh, it needs to be detachable and relatively easy to access just in case of um, failed components, dodgy wiring maybe, who knows. Uh, you can see I've put some shrink wraps on those uh, white cables there. The um, Adafruit motor came without the little plug connector so it just had um, wires coming out the back with no plug on. So. Um, yeah, look at those. Lovely. I used a cigarette lighter for those just to heat them up and they shrank on and covered the soldered joints. Very nice. Yeah. That's very nice. You can see the bullet. They're not bullet holes, actually. No, of course they're not. They're drill holes. I drilled through the plywood and I'm putting the back back on with one hand. That's why it's looking really so the uh, junction box about four pounds four quid four English pounds four pounds sterling hole there if I do the job properly I'll put a grommet in there close up of the Pi and you can see the wireless adapter there it was before the Pi had built-in Wi-Fi so yeah, I'll be able to wirelessly operate the machine when it's built. Which reminds me, I need to buy a red danger emergency stop button like all good proper CNC machines have. Which will be nice. Um, the little you see the, the screw holes on the circuit board well I'm going to use those I'm going to try and uh, get some little screws and screw those boards down you can see between 5 volts and 35 volts for the L298 stepper drivers so voltage isn't really going to be the issue with the power supplies power adapters the uh, more of the problem will be getting suitable current but 
all of those adapters are actually quite low current, so provided they can supply enough current to run the motor, um, I don't have to worry about them giving too much current to the motor when damaging the motor. So yeah, my test script which is a modified version of the original one that I used on the Z-axis and here you can see what is going to happen here. I think nothing happened here because I didn't press enter on my keyboard because I'm a complete idiot. Press enter and then move movement. And it hit the end. It didn't stop. Uh, it made a grinding noise, which was not good. So then I had to control C. Here you can see the code. This code at the moment just moved the z-axis in one direction. So what I need to do is add some code to make it go in the reverse direction. And then I need to duplicate all of that for a second motor for the other L298. And then the Adafruit hat will be a separate function or separate chunk of code. Label things with masking tape because I don't have a die mode because I'm not rich. Samsung phone charger. That'll do, and that that will, if I could read what it said. Hmm. Which I can't. And also I'm being distracted because some Muppet is Skyping me at the moment with something which is not interesting at all. Not half as interesting as narrating a video about a CNC project. Uh, get on with it. These little connectors are nice. They, they're very good, aren't they? And there we go. So... Blah, 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 blah. In total, I'll have four power supplies, one for each motor, and then one for the Raspberry Pi. And they'll all go into my extension lead. Some arty photos here for you to enjoy. This is uh, just a bit of a summary, really, of progress so far, which has been a bit slow because of the lead times on ordering parts from China so every so often I reach I get as far as I can and then I have to wait a month for stuff to arrive from China so my one tip would be work out all the bits you need order them blah 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 So you're probably recognising a lot of pieces here which you may have seen on 3D printers, 3D printer tutorials, 3D printer projects. Um, this is hopefully going to be sturdy enough to machine um, MDF maybe, if not acrylic, plastic. We'll find out. I've actually bought larger motors and linear rails to make a bigger machine but I want to get this one working first just to uh, satisfy myself that I know how to do it. So I'll be um, writing code to control the motors so it won't be GRBL. How do you say that Gerbil? I don't know. But eventually when I complete this project I will end up inevitably connecting this to an Arduino running Gerbil so the Pi will talk to the Arduino which will then control the stepper motors but to begin with I'll, um, I'll be controlling the motors from code which I write in Python so it'll probably be quite basic uh, hope, uh, hope this has been informative if not, then, well, there's some other videos. Might be more interesting, I don't know. I really don't know. So, 
four power supplies. On a proper one, you'd have one big 15 amp, 24 volt or 48 volt power supply. But then again, this is a prototype built on my dining room table. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll make some more nonsense for you lot. All right. Cheers.